Long after the waves receded, the damage caused by Hurricane Sandy remains on the shores of Delaware Bay. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is actively working to restore beach habitat, as well as increasing the Delaware Bay's resilience to prepare for future storms. The Department of the Interior received $737 million for recovery in the wake of Hurricane Sandy. Of that amount, the service received $102 million for the restoration of coastal marshes, wetlands, and shorelines, as well as to improve habitat connectivity and flood resilience to protect these areas from future storms. The service allocated $1.65 million to restore beaches along the New Jersey shore of the Delaware Bay. One community benefiting from these investments is Middle Township, New Jersey, near Cape May. Well, I think all of it comes back to economics, whether it's uh whether it's the protection of the homes, or it's access to these resources, or it's just publicizing the work that's being done. The more we can do to get that word out, more people are gonna come to see it, and we just need to manage that in a way that's beneficial to our economy, that doesn't harm the assets that we have here in the long term. So in uh, October of 2012, uh, Hurricane Sandy hit, and uh, hit you know, a lot of places throughout the Northeast, in particular this beach that we're standing on right now, was hit pretty hard, uh, caused uh, substantial erosion. A lot of the uh, areas uh, just behind me, really it was eroded all the way back to where that um, Phragmites is or where that kind of that dune line is. And it basically took all the sand away. As part of the Hurricane Sandy resiliency projects, we ended up coming up with a, uh, a project to put sand back on the beach. It involved uh, about 45,000 tons of sand as well as uh, removing, I think it's about 800 tons of uh, debris. And this sand is critical for horseshoe crab spawning. And if you don't have it, uh, horseshoe crabs, one, won't be able to reproduce. They don't have any sand to dig into. And in the end, if you don't have any horseshoe crabs laying eggs, then there's nothing for the shorebirds to feed on. These long distance birds have to go so long, six, seven days flying straight, and so Delaware Bay is perfect for that. They can really build up fat fast. The birds and the crabs are still at low levels, but the good news is that I think the red knot population increased by a couple thousand this year. These beaches are increasing productivity, and productivity is ultimately expressing itself in more adults. Like most of Cayman County, our industry is tourism. Over 50% of our town is dedicated open space. So it's a huge part of our town and the future of our town. And we definitely took that into consideration. It's sort of like the horseshoe crabs and the red knots are tourists that come to our area. I mean, they're gonna come, we know they're, when they're gonna come and we know what they're gonna do and we better be ready for them. So if we don't have these beaches in the condition that they need to have, they're not gonna come back either. And that, that's gonna be a huge loss to the environment as well as to us from a tourism aspect. And uh, our investments in these sites and other wildlife sites are basically just as important as any, any investments we make in infrastructure or any other industry in town because this is what people come here to see.